convoy of buses rolls out of a Russian diplomatic compound in Maryland. Inside, Russian diplomats kicked out of the U.S., accused of being spies. The property confiscated by the U.S. government. The order given in December by the Obama administration after U.S. intelligence concluded Russia had meddled in the U.S. election. Tonight, Vladimir Putin's government vows to retaliate and rejects any conditions the U.S. has for returning two diplomatic compounds in America to the Russians. The Kremlin is threatening to expel American diplomats from Russia. If the U.S. partners don't understand it any other way, then at some point we will have to act exactly this way. That's not the only move against Putin that Washington is being pressured to roll back. At that Trump Tower meeting last year, which Donald Trump Jr. is now being scrutinized for, Russian lawyer Natalia Veselnitskaya says she and a Russian-American lobbyist talked about U.S. sanctions against Russia. Though the Kremlin denies connections with Veselnitskaya, analysts say what Putin really wants, what the Russians at that Trump Jr. meeting were angling toward, is to get an American law called the Magnitsky Act killed. How angry is Putin still at the Magnitsky Act? Uh, our, every indication is he's still very angry that he would still like it rolled back. Putin was so angry at the Magnitsky Act, he banned adoptions of Russian orphans by Americans. The 2012 American law was named after a whistleblower named Sergei Magnitsky, who died in Russian custody after he uncovered a massive fraud scheme benefiting Putin's cronies. Putin and his circle have denied involvement in Magnitsky's death. But critics like Magnitsky's former boss, Bill Browder, say some of Putin's cronies are being hurt by the Magnitsky Act because it cuts them off from money they were able to squirrel away in the U.S. They take that money and they keep it in American banks and British banks and Swiss banks. They send their kids to uh, boarding schools. They send their girlfriends to Milan on shopping trips. Another reason Putin hates the Magnitsky Act, according to former State Department human rights official Sarah Mendelson, the law means Putin can't guarantee protection for the oligarchs who do his bidding. This is essentially the business model, kind of a good fellow's business model, that is being called into question, where he's asking, or somebody close to him is asking something that is to be done. Um, people are benefiting from it. If that entire business model is called into question, it's going to get harder for him to rule this way. Sarah Mendelson says in the end she does not think Vladimir Putin is going to be successful in getting the Magnitsky Act killed. What happens then? Well, she says Putin might be angry enough to ramp up military tensions with NATO or to escalate the information wars, to have his hackers work overtime to create trouble for the U.S. and, and their allies, Wolf. You know, Brian, uh, regarding those diplomatic compounds seized from the Russians in uh, Maryland, just outside of Washington, D.C., and New York, uh, is there any chance the Trump administration would actually give those properties back to the Russians? It could be a chance, Wolf. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer this afternoon was asked about that. Spicer did not say unequivocally that the U.S. would not give those compounds back. He referred that, that to the State Department, and we're told State Department and Russian officials just got out of a meeting. They're talking about this. Nothing decided yet, but they're meeting about it.